Hi, my name's Ryan. I've uh, lived here in Orange County about five years. Grew up in the Inland Empire. Uh, got engaged February 25th. Uh, looking to actually get married this year, which is soon for a lot of in a lot of people's eyes, but we're kind of going a different route than most. Um, I'm 30 now. When I was 20, I was heavily heavily into modeling. Modeled for a good four years. Moved to Miami for a little bit. Did LA Fashion Weeks a few times. Um, was like literally booked to go to New York, and then I actually got a job with Costco because my dad was the one who was like, you know what, get into Costco. You need to get into a corporation, some corporation you can grow in. And I did. I took the route, and it's been a it's been a good run. Um, have some outside endeavors now. I'm working on with my fiance, and it's it's good because it's keeping us on track and together. Um, but uh, life is good out in Orange County. I have a lot of I have a lot of good friends out here. Good sphere of influence. Um, I feel like me being noticed by the people I am at Costco is due to my outgoing personality and just how I am very pe people oriented. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, pretty much sums me up. Pretty simple. You know, I have a couple hobbies. I love to gym it. I love to hike. I love to. I love cars. Cars are definitely a passion. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's me. Welcome to 60 Minutes Late. It's been 60 minutes. Yeah. Been waiting here for 60 minutes. Right on, right on. <laughs> Not <right>. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Our guest today is the second handsomest man here in the OC, aside from yours truly. And first and foremost, how are you today, man? How's the family? Everything good in your life so Everything far? Everything is good, man. Awesome. I had a great Mother's Day yesterday. You know, sun is out, birds are chirping. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Right on, right on, definitely. All right. Well, to get right into it, I'm sure you're aware of your legend traveling the land through social media, word of mouth, and after the indulgence of white wine alcoholic beverages by the mom community of Orange County. <laughs> but we wanted to give the man himself a chance to speak on his own behalf. That yeah. being said, could you tell us a little about your upbringing and the rise of the real Ryan, the man we have before us today? Sure, yeah. Um, I've been in Orange County like five years. I grew up in Riverside, Riverside area, a little past Riverside, but came out here five years ago and just like experienced a whole different world and um have definitely had a lot change in the last five years as far as just personal growth and, and my association and you know working at Costco has been great you know um but where I am today is you know good influence of people good friends you know but yeah bro that's about it definitely pretty yeah, simple yeah. pretty yeah, simple sure, you sure. know I'm not gonna get too deep into like school and what I you know hobby you know um, oh, sure. you can talk about that. Well, I mean, I went to school over in Inland, Inland Empire. I uh, went to college in Riverside and then came out here and just picked up hobbies and, um, you know, part-time business outside of Costco and whatnot. So it's like, it's all, it's all good. It's cool. Awesome. It's all coming awesome. together the way it should. That's great. That's great to hear. Um, so as far as the OC Mom community, how have, um, have they known about you before Costco or could Costco be attributed to the spread of all these myths? Probably, like... I came out here and transferred Costco, so, like, first week I was in Orange County, I worked at this Costco, so, from that day, I think it just, you know, I don't think my, my presence was really noticed until I started working at the door, or, or I was supervising, I was supervising up front, so I wore the red coat and had the keys, and, and then I uh, started some outside endeavors, you know, that I really have a lot of belief in, so, you know, I went down to a regular employee, and I just hang out the front door now and the exit door and I, I get to experience every single person and you know get to say bye or hi to most people which is cool and I think that right there has led to a lot of interactions with women some being Orange County moms so I think that's definitely got me some momentum as far as being noticed definitely, definitely. Yeah. and then um, is Costco aware of this fan base in particular more of the moms and then if so, what are their thoughts or maybe reactions to the matter? So, it's mainly, well actually it is managers too. They've like, <laughs> some managers have come up to me and been like, do you know you're on Facebook? My wife was talking to me last night about this and that. And <laughs> like, I'm talking like big head haunches in the building coming up to me laughing. Like, I got to show you this screenshot. My wife was with her friends the other night and you came up, Costco Ryan. And so it's all fun. It's all fun. Everyone's, you know, I love to play along with it. You know, now I can't, someone's like, do you know you're on Facebook? I can't play it off anymore. Like, no, I don't. Because a lot of people know that I know and I just, I'm always flattered and, you know, so it's, it's cool. It's very, 
you're very good spirited, mm -hmm. funny. Yeah, you, know? and you seem like you're being a good. You're definitely a good sport about it. Yeah, it's yeah, cool it's it's too. cool to just make a lot of good relationships with people, and you know, if I could take some selfies with someone because they want to or whatever, then it's cool. I've even taken pictures with kids. I think it's adorable. You know, <laughs> but but yeah, it's all good. Definitely, that's great. Um, so I guess maybe who or what are some of your influences in life that could be credited with inspiring you to become who you are today? And if any, if any of them inspired you, maybe in what ways? Um, I had a really good upbringing with my, my parents, my family. Mm. Um, it was, it was a great upbringing for sure. I have good influences in my life now, like that are kind of like coaching me and, and, you know, they have a really intentional life and they're living on purpose which is really really great because you tap into your faith and you you try to impact and whatnot like you know if you have a little more of an intentional life which is Focus good on, focusing on what's important to you personally and what you believe in. yeah yeah definitely definitely so um i had a great upbringing i have a great association of friends and business partners so i feel like i'm in a really good spot you know because yeah, right you are who you surround yourself with for sure absolutely yeah um how have you changed or grown in the last 10 years? And I guess maybe where do you aspire to be in the next 10 years, you know, as far as your goals and aspirations? Yeah, I'm 30 now. So when I was 20, I was like, I can't, a hot, like just, I was crazy. I mean, 20 <laughs> is a totally different age. And I think as the years went by, I shook off a little of the immaturity and shook off more and shook off more. Yeah, sure. Went through a long relationship up until I was 27. Um, Started in my early 20s, ended when I was 27, and she was a little older than me, so she helped me, I think, mature as well and kind of, like, bring out the, the more manly side, you know? So, <clears throat> yeah, that was attributed to definitely some of my, my uh, you know, where I'm at today, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. And, um... I guess it's funny because I forgot what that, what that question was originally. Oh, yeah. so as I was spinning off the end of that, I forgot. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. That was great. I'm not perfect, okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Um, could you tell us about maybe the average day in the life of Brian? Easy. Um, most days, like most Americans, you get up, you go to work, you work out after your job, and then you have a you know, little time to dabble into hobbies and whatnot. I love the uh, high gym for sure. Um, my fiance and I actually went on a hike today and, uh, it was great. It was awesome, but I'm, I'm pursuing some outside endeavors so I can eventually go part-time at Costco. This way we have more time together. Um, you know, hopefully supplement enough income so she can be a stay at home mom when we decide to have our first child. Cause we don't want her to have to work. Yeah, congratulations about that. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Um, yeah. So every, I mean, yeah, absolutely. And then uh, finally, could you share some maybe important interactions with people that you've had, um, experiences in your life, or perhaps something even experienced at Costco that maybe has helped teach you important life lessons or two in your life that you may not have learned otherwise possibly? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of really good people that come into Costco. Um, a lot of high, high caliber executives and, and people that you know are always dressed in suits and whatnot so you make friends with certain people and they they give you little slices of wins, wisdom you know um there are some managers there that are pretty cool you know there's 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 a there's a select few managers that i really like that help uplift and encourage and help build you up you know so there's some good influence there um definitely a lot of outside influence that's great you know met some some pretty good friends actually at costco and uh, a lot of them whom are, are older you know you always you're surrounding yourself with people that are doing better or a little older they have more experience and they're wiser therefore you can increase yourself and elevate yourself of course so um all in all i mean a good combination of management members current friends you know absolutely but yeah i mean there's good influences everywhere you just really have to keep your eyes open and and see who you want to be influenced by you know, what direction you want to go is who you let influence you. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate the wisdom, the positivity. Of this course. was definitely an enlightening interview. Yeah. This has been 60 minutes late. I'm Sam Zapata. Ryan, you want to tell them who you are, what you got going on right now? <laughs> okay. uh, we're just finishing up here with the handsomest man in Orange County. It kind of is really intimidating to be around someone more handsome than myself. But oh. I... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, we're just finishing up here. Um, it'll be sunset in about an hour, and I'm going to think I'm going to go run on the beach. <laughs> awesome, perfect. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Of course, man. It was a unique experience, talking one handsome man to another. And one thing I think we both can agree on is life is very much like a Costco doorway, in that you never really know who or what may enter and exit through that door. So it's best to greet it with a warm smile and a friendly hello to all the moms along the way. So what do you do to get the hair so nice? Wash about two or three times a week. <laughs> can, can I touch it? Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got him. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, 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 no